Hey guys, welcome to Excel Tutorial Channel again, and another episode of statistical function and formula in Excel. So in this video, we are going to cover frequency function in Excel, which is also very important or vital part of analyzing any data in your worksheet. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do it because you are gonna miss so, so many lessons about Excel, its formula, its functionality like charts, pivot table, power query in future. So let's get started. So here we have a very basic sheet to let you understand what frequency means and how you can do implement that in your daily to daily life. So here we have a very simple data which has which is the marks between or up to 100 here and we have a 30s of entries. So we have also created a range. Okay, so we want to count 0 to 60 first and then we are going to count 6 to 70 and then 7 to 18 up to 90 to 100. So this is the range. So for first let's understand the syntax of frequency function. So if we open a frequency function, we have two arguments here. First is the data array and second is bin array. So data array will be the sample data we have to, you know, create a frequency from. So the data will be the 30 entries here, which is of marks. And next will be the bins array. Bins array we need to create. Okay. So for the bins array let's first understand what is the bins array okay so frequency function take the help of bins array to classify our ranges or our set of data for the frequency we want to create first is we have a range here which we already created so bins array will be if we type 60 as a helper it denotes like less than equal to 60 frequency function will take the help of this particular value and it will return all the values which are under or less than 60 will be listed as here as in this for your formula okay so let's just enter our bins here let me just give a heading here bins let me just stylize a bit give a unique classification so here we have a 60 and just enter a 70 here such that it will only return value less than 70 or 60 to 70 as yes, we have prescribed in this range or we can say helper array or bins array and in this particular section we have 80 we have 90 and we have 100 here so now here we are going to calculate the frequency here let me just type out this and give a unique header here okay so in this particular array or column we're gonna fill the frequency how many students scored less than 60 or less than or equal to 60 how many have scored 60 to 70 so we are going to list that out in this particular column so let's just type our frequency here so if you over it says to calculate how often values occur within range of values and then returns a vertical array of numbers having one or more element than bins array and let's just click on tab open our function so here we have a two argument as we have discussed earlier so first will be the data array data array will be the same like this select all your area and second will be the bins array bins array we have already created like this so you must be wondering why we have created this but you're gonna learn that in upcoming minutes when we create a histogram chart for it okay so let's just close it down and click enter so you may have caught your answer you have got seven entries less than 60 60 to 70 got 55 and the next will be nine five and three here so if you count it down it says 12 12 to 21 plus 8 is 29 so we we have 29 entries here it's because it start from the 2 to 30 so one will be deducted as a marks which is the heading okay so hope you understand so there's also a zero so just ignore that part because we are going to create a chart out of this particular section or scenario so you have, must have known what is frequency and how you can calculate it using this set of example so you can also create a chart like you have a range here and you want to show how many have scored or how many students have scored in between these particular ranges you can show that easily using histogram chart so for to use Instagram chart, you need to select the set of ranges you want to include in that particular chart. So first will be this and second will be this frequency. Ignore that zero part because we don't need that in our diagram. So now go to the insert 
and click on this particular icon so you have a different set of columns here and you can also preview whenever you mouse over it okay so you can use either 3d or 2d or whichever you want i personally like the 3d one here let me just drag it down here right and you can use different type of designs here i love this design so just like or rename it using this it's a, just a demo data and if you want to customize it just double click on this chart you can customize using this particular options here where you can fill any border or gradient line solid line you can fill any color using this you can also add a shadow glow or however you want because if you want to presenting this particular chart to your teacher or your superiors then you may want to stylize a bit right so let's just close it down for now and you can also explore this particular options here you can filter it out which part of your query you want to include like if you don't want to include 90 you can just deselect it if you want to include it just select it and you can also change the names the way you want so hope you understand how this progressive function works and how you can create a histogram chart for the same so if you have learned something please click the like button if you want to learn more about it you can just click the link in the description box where we have covered in detail about this particular function so if you haven't subscribed to this channel please do it because it will help us to grow more and more and create a more detailed videos about each and every functionality of excel and you can also request any video from us if you want to share this video to your colleague your friend you can use the share button so this is the end of statistical function and formulas in excel so in the next playlist we are going to open about round functions and different round function and formulas in excel so keep an eye on that if you want to request a custom video or a playlist about something which we have missed until now then you can just ask away in the comment box we will get back to you and we will try our level best to create one for you so see you in the next playlist or video until then stay safe and bye bye